loads and loads of television, uh, including Miss South Africa, which you've done done for a while now. And uh, for me, that's always a fascinating evening out because there's so much excitement to it, so much yeah. drama. Who's going to win it? Uh, mm. What's it like for you as uh, as the host, getting involved with it, putting it together? Is it loads of fun, or is it quite a stressful night out? Look, it's it's a lot of fun um, getting to that point. The evening itself is a little bit stressful because it's it's a live show. Uh, also, it's it's of national interest. So uh, you know you're crowning the next South African ambassador. So it's 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 a lot of pressure, uh, but it's a lot of fun as well. I think the girls have a lot more pressure than I as the host do. Do you have finalists sort of slipping room keys into your jacket and the hope you might be able to help them get that crown? Uh, I actually try and steal their room keys. <laughs> No, but no. I, look, I try. I remain very neutral, but I'm very friendly to all of them as well, which is a lot of fun. It's it's a contest that does get a little bit of flack from time to time. Sure. Uh, but from the Miss South Africa's we've had on the show, we've had the last three now. Certainly, very beautiful women, yeah. but also they've had a lot more to them. They've certainly been been people of substance. They've had a lot of ambition. Yeah. They've been really great ambassadors. I found for South Africa. Mm, absolutely, I couldn't agree more. Um, I think the kind of young lady that it's appealing to now is one who realizes, you know, it's not just about beauty, uh, but but it's about if you're going to represent the country, you know, there needs to be more to you than what we see.